Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. Today I have to put in some cucumbers and zucchinis and squashes. Um, I already put some seeds in the ground, but I've had little critters come around and dig all of it up. So nothing, things are germinating in random places, which I actually had one in my pepper bed, but they already tore it up. Um, I also had a yellow squash that I put out in the garden. It's already been torn up. And I'll show you my other random cucumbers. So I have this random cucumber growing in this bed, and this is my onion bed. <laughs> so I will be putting my onions in here very shortly, but they should have already been in the ground, but we were late starting and I've had problems with my onion starts, but better late than never. But yes, this cucumber is doing quite well and I'm leaving it here. I put a couple um, small cucumbers from MI Gardener, their container one varieties in here um, and most of them have been dug up so I'm assuming that's probably what's actually in the other container um, but that one will grow here over here I have this is a cocozella zucchini so it's a green and white zucchini it's gonna be planted here I have my other cucumbers along the fence there I've got a um, baby watermelon and a um, cantal no, a pale cucumber over there and I also have um, a, a cantaloupe over here to put in. I've also got, um, these are um, honey, nut mel uh, honey nut squash and then a pumpkin. And then I have, the, yeah, these are the cantaloupe that I have to put in. I didn't expect all three of them to germinate. This is seeds that I harvested from an actual cantaloupe, so we'll see what, how they grow. So I might even put it over in the corner. We will see. I had two peppers on this pepper plant and animal came and harvested it for themselves. And I do have the fertilizer for our, in our plants. All right, this, I'm actually gonna put it in the center here because once I get the green zucchini growing, I'll put it over here. And then I'm gonna put a few of those items over there. And I'm gonna put my honey nut squash just loose so it can trail out into the garden. And this way I've saved some space for the other cucumbers. See, look at guys, there's one of my peppers that were harvested. Told you I had some. It really sucks though, they're taking all the baby peppers off the plant. <sighs> okay, let's just dig a hole right here for this zucchini. Let's put some, some fertilizer into the ground there. Because this, I really don't want to disturb the roots. So I'm just going to see if it'll just fall right out of the container. There we are, and look at, there's one of the other seeds that never grew. <laughs> but this, I'm just gonna put directly right into here. Actually, I might have it go this way. There we are. So that's my Cocozella zucchini, green and white striped zucchini. Then I'm gonna put these squash right here and one right here. this hole here. Gotta put fertilizer in there. That's a lot of fertilizer, but that's okay. It'll be use it. And right here, I'm gonna put my other honey nut squash. There we are. Then I need this cantaloupe somewhere, but let's go put let's go put the those two cucumbery the two melons up against uh, the trellis over there. So right here I have if this one is a cucumber, pale green cucumber. And I'm going to put it right here. Hold it close. And this is my baby sugar, sugar baby watermelon.
I'm really trying to figure out where I'm going to put the cantaloupe. I can, I still have to put these two cherry tomatoes in. And so I might put one over here too, because this is a lot of space for just two cherry tomatoes. Um, I can put one in with my strawberries to grow out of the container, which I do have space for. And I do have that strawberry is putting off some offshoots and I will be getting some new strawberry plants shortly, but I can easily put a cantaloupe, cantaloupe in here as well and let it trail out the ground. So I'd like it to be raised so that it's not in the ground, on the ground with the critters because we all know those critters are obviously bad this year, wanting to take up everything that I have. So I gotta figure out how to stop that from happening. And, but yes, I'll definitely put one over here. And we'll go from there. Let's put the cherry tomatoes into the ground. So this has uh, was forgotten when I went away. It was actually growing roots out the container, but I will put it in here and trail it along and have it go up and then I'll trellis it up along this wall. And I just have a small trellis to hold that up. And, all right, so let's go with this cherry tomato here. This one's already rooted itself in the ground over here. I'm gonna take this container off and I'm going to bring a trench right out for it to have it still rooted into the ground. So I'm going to dig a little bit deeper here. There we are. Take off these branches. This branch was actually growing new branches, which I won't need. So I'm just going to take that off. I'm going to add some fertilizer to the soil here for it. Now, these can all be trenched into the ground to grow on the roots. Let's take off some of these leaves, more leaves, and then you can see those roots. Let's just build, up, build it up there. It'll grow up and I'm going to use this trellis here for it to grow up on. And then let's do this tomato over here. I'm going to do the same thing. Get rid of some of these weeds. Get rid of the lower leaves. Find a make it like this. Go pinch. Go and have it going up there, and then the two cherry tomatoes can grow up the trellis over here, just like so. There we go, we got our cherry tomatoes in. Now, I do have a couple of bush varieties that need to go into two containers, but I gotta get going. We can come back tomorrow to do those two. So, see you back again tomorrow. Guys, I was editing the video. I did not film the video to um, cantaloupe transplants, but I did put them in strawberry bed, all three of them. And I also did put the bush variety tomatoes in containers like I did last year. Um, and I did not film that as well. So I do apologize for that, but I do want to thank you guys for coming along with me. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to continue on my journey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow along with me. Until next time, guys. Bye.